We often wish our dogs could tell us what's on their mind, and that couldn't be more true than when they're seemingly suffering from a long-term condition such as arthritis. As a practitioner and teacher in canine neurological health, I'm fascinated in observing the body language and behavior of dogs. If you're concerned about your dog potentially having arthritis, it's important to observe the signs so that you can become proactive in their care. Here's five ways to tell. Number one, leg and joint stiffness, especially after exercise, walks, and prolonged rest. If your dog is having difficulty getting up and down after these activities, your dog may be suffering with arthritis. Number two is sleeping more, being less interested in those car rides or walks, not joining in family activities. We know our dogs love to do this, so they're probably experiencing some pain if they're not joining in. Number three is licking limbs. You may also notice saliva stains around their leg joints and other affected areas. Yes, a dog will lick their limb if they're feeling pain. And number four is swollen areas around joints. If you notice any swelling or thickening, perhaps across the hips, it could be arthritis. And number five, is it slower walking? Your dog's head's usually forward and down and they're having more difficulty climbing stairs or not even wanting to jump up. Again, these are all signs that your dog is feeling stiff and perhaps some pain. Arthritis as a condition is progressive and it gets worse over time if left without treatment. So keeping an eye on any changes in your dog's behavior can go a long way to catching it in the early stages and become proactive. Stick with me here because there's five great things you can do today to lessen your dog's pain and of course, all naturally. Number one, ensure your dog is at a good, healthy weight. We all love to overfeed our dogs. That's a way of love, but keeping them under a good weight will keep those joints healthy. Number two, keep on exercising your dog. They may not be able to go as fast or as far, but it's really important to keep them active and keep those joints moving as long as possible. Number three, research anti-inflammatory foods and supplements for your dog. After all, arthritis is an inflammatory condition. The more you know, the better your dog will be. Number four, provide a safe environment for your dog that includes those non-slip mats and high dog traffic areas in your home. Not only will it help them from slipping and falling, but psychologically they will know they have support. And number five, research again that in-home therapy that you can apply called Response 5. It'll increase energy, decrease inflammation, and decrease pain. Thank you for being a part of this community. Whether you are watching these videos for the first time, whether you have already signed on to Response 5 or not, it is a pleasure and a joy to be a part of your life and part of your dog's life. So I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.